Hey guys, it's me, and this is not quite a haul, it's something a little bit different. Um, I went on eBay and I bought a lot of broken vintage jewelry. And just to give you guys an idea, this is some of it that came, you know, it was loose beads and broken things. So, yeah, like this baggie here is full of vintage earrings that are like mismatched and broken. Because I decided, hey, why not make some jewelry? So I got two big bags and I bought two lots. They were four ninety nine each, free shipping, so that was ten bucks. Um, there were some wearable pieces in the lot. There were some pieces that weren't broken. I will show those in a separate video. Um, and I actually found in the lot a sterling silver freshwater pearl bracelet. I found a real bracelet inside the lot and I found a real gold pearl stud earring so that was kinda cool so I guess you never know what you're gonna find in these lots because I looked out and found a real bracelet and a real stud earring and found some gold and silver which I thought was pretty cool hopefully you guys can see it better there uh, excuse my nails I've been painting so I didn't bother to do my nails but anyway, I'm um, decided I'm going to show you guys what I've made. I've been making jewelry all weekend. So let's get started. This is a brooch made from some of the single earrings. It just dangles like that. And they're going to jingle and jangle, but it's just a pretty little brooch I made. I made this double row bracelet here. It's just a double row bracelet. It didn't take me long to make this at all. I mean, for me spending $9.98, I was able to make a lot of jewelry. And like I said, I found some wearable pieces, which I will show in a separate video. But yeah, I made that. I made this beautiful charm bracelet here. Um, it's made out of some chain, some broken earrings, and other stuff. But I love it. I am in love with this piece. This is my favorite piece that I made. It's just a nice, full, gorgeous charm bracelet. And it looks like something I bought in a store, but I actually made it. So, so happy about that. I made these earrings here. They're very pretty. I mean, if you look at this stuff, you can tell it was made with vintage parts. But these are so springy and so pretty on. So I will enjoy wearing those. Uh, let's see. I made, I'll show you guys the necklaces now. I made this double strand necklace here. There's the clasp. And it's just two strands. One's short and one's longer. So, you know, it kind of looks like that. I also made another double strand necklace and I put a vintage drop on the bottom of this one. I made this drop out of two separate pieces. I thought that was really pretty. But yeah, I made this one and this is the clasp that I made for it. It's very, 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 very pretty. Had a good time making it. Made another necklace here. This one's got all sorts of colors and charms on it. So I put like little charms on it and it's got different colors. It's just made out of things that were broken and I just put it all together and made it into one necklace very cool it's a very pretty necklace it's kind of long um, let's see I made this one out of broken earrings that I had it's gorgeous this is a short necklace this one's short. I 
I had fun making this stuff. I really did. And I just wanted to show you guys this stuff right away. And I made this one. This one's really pretty. Um, I made this one out of a beaded bracelet that I had laying around that I didn't wear anymore. It's got like blue crystals and other crystals in it. It's very pretty. And you guys can get a better idea what it looks like. So I made this one. It's just a great way to use broken stuff. It was nice being creative. Um, okay, this one I love. I made a choker. I don't know how to get it to show right on camera. Let me unclasp it. Well, I can't. Okay, it looks like this. These are really big beads, and it looks like this on the neck. And this goes all the way around your neck like that. Yeah, I made it, and it's a choker. Fits me perfectly because I made it to fit my neck, and it's just beautiful. Beautiful, huge choker. I love it. Love it, love it, love it, love it. This was so easy to make. This is like my second favorite piece after the charm bracelet. This is definitely my second favorite piece that I made. And I made it completely from scratch. Um, okay, two more necklaces. I made this one from a bunch of leftover beads that I had. It's just all sorts of, it's really long. It's just all sorts of pretty beads. And I put this on it. It's a piece of a broken ring I had. So I put that on it as well. And she's got a bunch of really pretty beads and pearls. All sorts of colors. So I had fun making that as well. Very pretty necklace. I guess my favorite part is the little crystal bow. So I made that as well. And last but not least, I made myself a, well, a short necklace and then the super long necklace to match. So this is the short one. And it's like this. And the beads go like this. short but I made the super 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 long necklace to match this necklace goes down to my knees I can wrap it around four times it has no clasp it's just an endless necklace and this matches the short necklace so I can layer it like five times I'm showing you guys some of the beads on here it's like each parts different It took me about two hours to make this one, but it's beautiful, and it's super, super long, <laughs> super long, but it's really pretty, and I had a good time making it. So anyway guys, that is all. Thank you so much. If you've never tried making your own jewelry, I suggest you do. It's very relaxing, and it's a lot of fun. Plus, whatever you wear, it'll be the only one in the world, and no one else will have anything quite like it. So, anyway, my birthday is September 10th, so the next thing you guys will see is probably a birthday haul after the 10th. So, I will see you all later. Bye!